Well, I did my speech on the best defensive player in the National Football League. This man once said, if you do the bare minimum, you'll get bare minimum results. But if you want to be great, you want to be great. You can't, it doesn't just happen. That man is Justin James Watt, AKA JJ Swat or JJ Watt. And I have a video for you guys. Yeah. This is why he's so great. He steps out of their zone and got his jersey. The ball comes out, and it looks like Houston has fallen out there. JJ Watt. He's one of his top five plays in the 2014 season. <laughs> Call this in the selfie set. Watch what he does. Gets the snap. Metburger looking and sack. The ball is out. The Texans have it. Watt has a strip sack. Good. Takes a selfie. Second goal at the one. This is the play where he's on offense at wide receiver. Fitzpatrick digs in. That's up to throw. Swings it out right side. Caught JJ Watt. Oh my goodness. Gets the snap. Let's go, man. Kicks off Watt to his left 30, 35. Yeah, 80. Watt's going to go all the way. The 30. Let's find it. Yeah, she was saying the name of the play. Crock and roll. JJ Watt. Pick six. Unbelievable. <laughs> what else can he do? <laughs> As you see, 6'5", 290, let's say, a lot of man. And guess who's got it? JJ, you got to be kidding me. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! As you can see, JJ Watt is a lot of man. No, so he has won two Defensive Player of the Year awards in the past three years. So you can, as you can see, he's like very remarkable. Prior to the 2014 season, he became the highest non-paid quarterback in all of the National Football League with $100 million contract. And you saw the sign that said, if I had $100 million, I'd buy him too. Did they really pay him $100 million in 2013? And he was voted amongst the players of the NFL to be the top player in the NFL. So the players took a vote and said he was the best player in the National Football League. So what makes J.J. Watt so remarkable? Like I said, he's won two play, Defensive Player of the Year awards in the past two years. He's recorded over 20 sacks in two seasons, along with two defensive touchdowns and three offensive touchdowns. He's the only player in NFL history to do so. In the first, in the first, he's the first player in 50 years to have a receiving touchdown, a fumble touchdown, an interception touchdown, and a pick six in the same season. The only player in NFL history to do so. Now what makes this remarkable is, in a 3-4 scheme, he's not supposed to be making that many plays. In a 3-4, defensive ends, defensive linemen are space eaters. The linebackers are supposed to make a lot of the plays. So for him to be making these type of plays, producing these type of stats in the National Football League, when he's meant to just eat up space, is remarkable. It's very amazing. And like I said, he was voted the top player in the NFL amongst all of the athletes. And when asked how he felt about this, he said, I'm obviously extremely humble. It's incredible. I'm so fortunate. It always means a lot more when the guys around the league and the guys who played the game and the guys you respect, it obviously holds a lot more for a defensive guy to break into the top spot. I'm very grateful. He's the first defensive player to earn the top spot in the top 100 players. Key games in J.J. Watt's career. Against the Indianapolis Colts, he racked up seven tackles, which is a lot. It is very hard to get over five tackles. And two sacks, four quarterback hits, three swats, and a fumble return for a touchdown. He actually led his own brigade 
to almost win that game. They were down 24 points and lost by a touchdown. After the game, Indianapolis coach, Coach Chuck Pagano, said he's probably one of the best players to ever play the game when it's all said and done. And that's a picture right there of him, the very last play you saw in the top play where he took it back, took the um, fumble back to the end zone. All right. Against the Buffalo Bills, he hit EJ Manuel nine times. He didn't get any sacks. They triple teamed him all night. But one play to win the game, he intercepted the pass, returning it for a touchdown to help win the game. After that game, USA Today said, there are great players on other teams, but no, none of the players on the other team is a single more dominant player than J.J. Watt. And that was a picture right here. Here are the statistics on the illustrious J.J. Watt. This past season, he was accredited with 20 and a half sacks. That is a lot. Um, uh, this, he's second in the NFL, ranked second, and that was only because this guy from the Kansas City Chiefs had an amazing year. Even almost more important than sacks are tackles for loss. He racked up 24 for a minus of 64 yards, which is ranked the first in the NFL. And these are his career stats. You see he has five touchdowns. He got all five of his touchdowns last season, which is amazing. He has 37 swats, which is where he get his nickname. Swats are pass deflections. They're known in corners, but at the line when the quarterback throws the ball, if you get your hands up in the tips, it helps your team get interceptions. It, help, it helps your team get off the field on third down. He's known for that. His nickname is JJ Swat. He's known for that. He's wrapped up 241 tackles in his entire tenure in the NFL and 57 sacks, which will put him, he's in the top 20 of sack leaders currently in the NFL. And Rodney Harrison once said about J.J. Watt after the season was all said and done, he said he's proven beyond a shadow of a doubt he is the best player on this planet. He has the best year. He's been the most consistent. That's what Rodney Harrison said. As he made a, he made a push for J.J. Watt to be named the NFL's MVP, which is rare for a defensive player to be named. So you see, they think of him as Superman and all that. And my conclusion is, J.J. Watt is the highest paid quarterback for a reason. He's won a defensive player of the year honor two of the last three years, and he's been voted the best player in the NFL by his peers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why J.J. Watt is the best player in the NFL.